The next lesson in chapter three is our use of variation measures. We're going to talk about where standard deviation comes from as well as how we should be using it and how we can quickly use some calculations uh, coming from standard deviation. The use of standard deviation comes from the range rule of thumb and it's a tool that we use based on the principle of the fact that for most of our data sets the majority of your sample values are going to be lying within two standard deviations of the mean. A lot of you are familiar with the bell curve which we'll talk about later on in this lesson but using standard deviation creates the range rule because most of our values will lie within two standard deviations going either below the mean or above the mean. Usual values in the data set are any of the values that lie within the two standard deviations of the mean. Standard deviation can be estimated using the formula there with range divided by four. Um, it's division into four because we're talking about uh, being two standard deviations above and two standard deviations below. We also talk about most groups being divided into quartiles. But again, typically there's no need for this estimation since we're mostly using technology to find the standard deviation. Here's a range rule example. The Weiss test, the Wexler Intellig Adult Intelligence Scale test, is an IQ test that has a mean score of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Let's find the minimum and maximum usual values and then define, define whether 125 and 135 are usual or unusual scores. The minimum usual value will take two standard deviations below the mean, so we take the mean 100 and subtract two standard deviations, two times the 15, which is 30. So 100 minus 30 gives me my minimum usual value of 70. The maximum usual value will be in the other direction. We want to add two standard deviations to the mean, and that gives me 100 plus 30, which is 130. Therefore, with our minimum and maximum usual scores, 125 would be a usual score, but 135 would be considered unusual. The empirical rule is a rule that involves distributed data only when it's normally distributed. It has to have the bell curve distribution or somewhat close to it. The empirical rule states that 68% of your values will fall within one standard deviation of the mean. Now when we say one standard deviation, we are talking about one standard deviation above and one standard deviation below. 95% of your values will fall within two standard deviations and 99.7% or all of your, mostly all of your values will fall within three standard deviations of the mean. We leave that point three of an error just in case we have those unusual outliers. Chebyshev's theorem is more appropriate to when we're dealing with distribution. Chebyshev's theorem can be used with any type of distribution, not just the bell curve. Chebyshev's theorem states the following. The proportion of any data, meaning how much of the data, lying within k standard deviations, k meaning any type of de standard deviation number that we have, will always be at least 1 minus 1 over k squared, and k always has to be greater than 1. That's a lot to take in, but if you take a look at the example we have below here, let's let capital K equal to 2. So we're talking about two standard deviations. So in that, when we'll, what we'll do is we'll apply it to the formula that comes with Chebyshev's theorem. So it's 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. So 1 minus 1 fourth gives us 3 fourths. According to Chebyshev's theorem, that means three-fourths of our values, meaning 75% of our values, should lie within two standard deviations of the mean. The coefficient of variation is used when we can't necessarily compare two sets of data. We want to compare two sets of data that have the same units, the same scale is used, and if they have relatively the same mean. 
basically what we're saying here is that we want to compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. However, if we're in a situation where we have apples to oranges, the coefficient of variation, or CV, allows us to compare data sets that have different units or means that are substantially different. The two formulas for coefficient of variation, one for sample and one for population, are below. Keep in mind that lowercase s is standard deviation, x bar is the mean of the sample. On the other side we have lowercase sigma, which is the uh, population standard deviation, and mu, which is the mean of a population. The homework in this section is going to be pages 112 to 113, numbers 22 to 36, but you can skip 29 and 32.